The catatonia of abuse pervades reality, seeping beneath sweet dreams, turning them into bleak nightmares, warping worlds of wonder and the hellscapes of great horror, where ennui is a cheerful reprieve to the infinite pain caused by the image of the blessed love that could have been. By malicious condemnation, sent into isolation, once bound to his mind, wherein he sees naught but the world's splendor, while remaining trapped in a cell of willful thoughtlessness. The root of literal victimization, made sour by reckless disregard, cloaked as the magnificent savior. Any utterance made of his unseen anguish reveals the reviling sickness underlying the vapid grins that surround him, turning upside down the tableau before the world, uncovering the seedy and undulating mass of a beast gorging himself on man's foolish adulation. Then, man knows his part in the play that he's performed for self, knows the role he deceived himself into playing for self sees, for his riches and favor, the scapegoat he created. And in that ill awakening, he's shaken to his core. He holds, for his brief joy, the malignant creature he's become. Yet, upon the face of the reviled, he sees the world's truest smile, grasps what he's loved all along, naturally bowing for the exiled.